How's it going, everybody? Scott Sprides here with Doug Upstone. We are DocSports.com. We're talking NFL wins totals for the upcoming 2021 campaign. Today, it is the Cleveland Browns over under wins total 10 and a half. It's a little bit of juice on the over as I'm looking at my, uh, my, my prices on my screen in front of me at the different shops. Uh, and remember, folks, the NFL has a 17-game slate this season, so always factor that in uh, to your over under wins total handicapping. 11 and 5 last year. Under Stefanski, Doug, the Browns didn't lose consecutive games for the entire campaign. Uh, they got a solid offensive line, outstanding running blocks. They're line run blocks. They pass block. Baker Mayfield has talent to throw to. Uh, listen, the defense, as far as the other side of the line of scrimmage, uh, they needed some help in the secondary. We saw last year, Doug, the Cleveland Browns were very good against the run, but there was every once in a while throughout the course of their games when you could burn the secondary. I'll talk about what they did in the offseason in a bit, but it was certainly an upgrade on paper that I think will translate onto the football field. They should be improved. Ten and a half, a lot of wins. Your thoughts on the Browns? Yeah, you know, and, and speaking of ten and a half, now I, I know you said your screen is, uh, is showing ten halves. Uh, when I looked at this uh, yesterday, I actually found some nine and a halves, uh, which was which I thought was very interesting. Now, maybe the market really switched, but I found some yesterday at a couple different sites. So, uh, uh, well, the, you'll understand the direction that I'm thinking of and well, how that plays out. You know, the, the you know Stefanski, they they finally got the right guy, okay? Uh, they and that was because they finally found the right general manager, okay, to hire the right guy. So you know, he has come in here. This team, uh, their winning season last year was their first since 2007. And it's just their third winning season since we got the version of the Cleveland Browns 2.0 in 1999, because prior to that, many of you probably know that the carpetbagger, uh, Art Modell, took the team to Baltimore overnight because he had to pay off his gambling debts. OK, so he had to do whatever he had to do. So that's that's how that goes. But now. Finally, something's going right for this team. Something's going right for the city. So no more, no longer the mistake by the lake. As you said, Scott, their offensive line, one of the best in football, okay? They, they, their offense should just be absolutely dynamic. And the thing that really, for me, drove it home last year watching them play down the stretch is Baker Mayfield, I do not believe is a top, top level quarterback. But I think he's at, at a point now to where he is he's more than good enough and, and a let's just say a championship caliber quarterback when they run the play action passing game. And I think that's the key for this team is to have the ability to run the ball where he can play action because he's very good at it and he's accurate when he gets out of the pocket a lot of times or when he just makes that one read and drives the ball. So I think he's going to have another actually going to have his first full big year okay in the nfl as you said scott the defense changes you know they need to do some things you know the one thing that struck me last year i don't know if, if it did you too listening to the the analysts on games there was always this talk well cleveland's defense is really good because they rushed the passer well <laughs> as you said the pass defense uh, often was terrible okay or yeah. often enough so a lot of those things have been addressed. Uh, I don't think we're going to necessarily see it right out of the gate, okay? Because this defense was in the uh, 20s in uh, third uh, in third down production. In uh, what was it? There's another one. Uh, thir third down defense yards per points allowed. I think you'll see some improvement. They'll move up the scale uh, on that one. I'll take. I'll say the Browns are become the the division champs of the AFC North with a 12 and five record, and I'm going to take the over on the Cleveland Browns. And certainly shop around. You know, you mentioned you found a couple of nine and a halfs out there. And of course, as we shoot this, I'm seeing a whole lot of ten and a halfs. You know, the Oakland Raiders, the Oakland, I knew it was going to happen. The Las Vegas <laughs> Raiders, I live in Las Vegas. Come on. The Las Vegas Raiders, wait till the A's come here. Boy, that's going to be great. Uh, so anyway, the Las Vegas Raiders, you know, that was a team we were thinking about talking about. Uh, if you want to play the Las Vegas Raiders, I've seen in one shop eight. I've seen as low as six and a half in another shop. A whole lot of sevens in between. So shop around, folks, when it comes to these wins totals, depending on how you want to play it. Uh, I mentioned the offseason acquisitions. John Johnson, Troy Hill from the Rams. I think this is going to be big and pay big dividends over the course of the year against the pass for Cleveland. That's the secondary. Uh, they were decent against the run, as I mentioned, but you could throw on them. They're going to be tougher to beat in the secondary, I think, in this uh, upcoming season. 
the schedule, it ain't easy in the second half of the season. I do believe all things go well, everybody stays healthy. They'll be nine and two or at worst eight and three after the first 11 games. Then right after week 11 at Baltimore by week, home Baltimore, home Las Vegas, that should be a win, followed by at Green Bay, at Pittsburgh, home Cincy. I think a split with Baltimore is going to be the difference if you're talking about that 10 and a half rather than the nine and a half. So I do believe this is an 11 win team. And for that reason, I'm gonna agree with you on playing the over on the Cleveland Browns. Any final thoughts on Cleveland before we uh, wrap this one up? Well, the one thing, you know, was, was Stefanski, the, I, one thing that he, uh, that I like about him, he's a, um, he, he's got a little bit different personality and it seems to immediately fit. Uh, one of the things that he did immediately, and he's one on phrases and a little bit like Joe Madden, the angel, now the angels manager, his, one of his big things from last year was embrace the suck. So in other words, is that when you, when things are tough, don't let it get to you, uh, take it and do something with it. And so I think that kind of coach in today's world, I think really can go a long ways. And I think Cleveland is going to have a very, very good season, Scott. And I know like you, Doug, I'm very careful about believing the hype. I mean, I got to see a lot to go along with the hype. And so I don't think we are here. We're just handicapping what we see. They can't go 0-2 against the Ravens and, you know, back-to-back games in that bye week in the middle. If they split that, I think they'd get that over even at 10 and a half. So anyway, check out the free $60 account. You see it above us. And guess what? If you click on the link below us, you will be able to receive a free $60 account. If you're not yet a member at DocSports.com, you can use those free 60 bucks on any of our daily packages. That means any handicapper on the roster. It is as simple as that. And you can't beat that with a stick when it comes to giving DocSports.com a trial run. He's Doug Upstone. I'm Scott Spritzer. We are DocSports.com. Let's put him in the win column.